In this video, we will see how to implement comparator and chain comparator in Java 8. If you have not watched the previous video about chain comparator then please watch it. Because same code I am going to modify. Let's open chain comparator example, class. Here I just quickly demo whatever we implemented. In Java 7 we created a static class for each and every comparator. For the simple comparator, this is the code we need to write. Code is quite simple, but in Java 8 everything will become so simple. Before that, I want to add some simple changes in random number logic. So instead of 99, now random number should generate between 0 to 8. And for employee salary instead of double change it to integer. Let's run and see it is working or not. See here you can see it is generating duplicate values. So if duplicate values are more than we can easily observe data after sorting. So here before chain comparator, I will demo you how to implement a simple comparator. So I am going to cover two approach. So the first approach is like using stream sorted method and the second approach is using comparator comparing method. First, let's implement sorting using stream sorted method. In Java 8 comparator became the functional interface so we can easily use lambda expression for comparator class. So this sorted method accepts comparator as an argument. Don't worry it is simple. See here this line will do everything, we don't need to create any class for comparator. So with the help of lambda expression, we directly implement compare method. And now to collect the data we can call for each function and here we can add system out print. See that's it this one line is enough for sort data based on employee ID. Let's run and see data is sorting or not based on employee ID. See it is working. Now similarly let's add code name, salary and date of birth also. I hope this approach is clear for you. Let's run and see data is sorting or not. See it is working. Now remove the commented code. Now let's implement the second approach using comparator comparing method. Let's see how to do that. First, let's create the comparator reference. Here let's call comparator comparing method. This comparing is a static method. Now here we need to pass like on what basis you want to sort data. So here I want to be based on employee ID. I hope this is clear for you. Now similarly let's create comparator for the name, salary, and date of birth also. Now we need to call the collection sort method and pass two parameters like one is collection and other is a comparator. And now remove this sorted method call from this line. Sort based on employee ID is done. Let's add a similar kind of code for the name, salary, and date of birth also. See this is also simple. I hope this is clear for you. Let's change the system out a message so we can differentiate the log. Let's run and see data is sorting or not. See everything is working as per the expectation. Now let's see how to implement chain comparator. See this is code which we wrote in the previous video. So same code I am going to modify. So let's move this code. Now let's see how to sort data based on ID and name. If you remember we already created ID comparator and name comparator. Now let's see how to use both together. 
so there is a method available and method name and then comparing. So here I want like after id sort data based on the name. So code is like id comparator then comparing name comparator. See it is very simple. And remaining code is like the code which we added for single comparator. So in sort method now we will pass this id and name comparator. See that's it. Now similarly let's add comparator for salary and date of birth. Now let's add comparator for name and date of birth. I hope this is clear for you. Now we don't need those static classes which we created for comparator. So let's remove all the classes. Let's run and see chain comparator is working or not. See it is working as per the expectation. Let's add one more chain comparator for name and salary. See it is very simple. So till now, we combine only two comparators. But in Java 8 we can combine any number of comparator. Now let's create the comparator of a combination of three comparator. Like ID and name and salary. Don't worry it is very simple. So here instead of ID comparator use ID and name comparator and instead of name use salary comparator. Now let's create the comparator of a combination of four comparator. So instead of ID and name let's use the ID and name and salary comparator and instead of salary here pass date of birth comparator. Now use both the comparator like we added code name and salary. I hope you can be understood it is very easy when we use Java 8. Now let's run and see it is working or not. See it is working. Let's review whatever we added. I hope this video is helpful for you. If yes then please press the like button. That's it for this video.